me and others, a few of you guys out there from the summit uh, that had me in the undergrad class, uh, we did the uh, we did Monopoly. Okay, so we did an example. Uh, what I usually do is, in fact, you, it, it's probably built, it's built into the course now. So many of you probably have done Monopoly, but we're going to use that real quick examples here of using debits and credits to uh, and T accounts to organize our accounts. Uh, there will be an example out there of a few roles out there uh, on an Excel spreadsheet that you can take a look at. It's not going to be exactly like this because I'm going to hit them live here, but it will give you the right idea of this, hopefully. Okay, so what, when we begin Monopoly, we start, it's just like we're doing a business. So we each get $1,500. So what happens when we invest $1,500 in our business? Well, our business will have cash of $1,500. So we are going to we increase an asset account by debiting it. So we're going to increase cash by $1,500. The other part of that is going to be equity. It's the money that we put into the business. So plus we need, where we have a debit, we have a credit. Our debits and credits have to equal. So our credit is going to be $1,500 under, we're going to use common stock. So it could be owner's equity, it could be single owner's equity, whatever you want it to be. So there's going to be debits and credits together. Okay, so we're, we equal, our assets equal our, li our liabilities plus under the equity, so we're ready to go. Okay, so let's do a roll here. I've got this on my computer, and I rolled an 8. An 8 is going to bring me to Vermont Avenue. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, my opponent, whose computer went first, and they also ran and rolled an 8, and so they own the property. And so we need to pay rent. So I'm going to add an account here. It's called rent expense. Rent expense. Now we increase an expense account. If you go back to a couple of the slides that are on this week's PowerPoint there that talks about how you increase and decrease accounts. So we increase an expense account by debiting it. So we're going to debit rent expense for $6.00. And we're going to credit cash for $6. So we're going to put that on the right-hand side. When we do debits and credits, debits are on the left-hand side, facing the account, and credits are on the right-hand side. That's going to be for all different types of accounts. Assets, liabilities, common stock, expenses, and revenues. So I'm going to finish my turn here. The computer rolls and does its thing. They're going to, of course, buy a house. And... Now we will roll. Oh, of course, they roll doubles. See, that's one thing about the computer game. The computer game cheats, usually against you. Never forget that. Never trust them. Okay, so now we can roll the dice, and I've rolled a ten. So in the ultimate, you've got to be kidding me. We hit rent again. So normally, we don't have this, but so we're going to have an expense. This happens sometimes. Okay, so we need to. Increase our expense account. We increase an expense by debiting. So we're going to have a $14 debit, and we're going to have a credit for $14. We reduce an asset account by crediting it, and we increase an expense account by debiting it. Now, while uh, the computer goes there, the computer actually gets sent itself back to jail and has a little paddy wagon. Unfortunately, you don't get to see that. I'll keep working on that technology. But I'm going to roll here again, and I've got an 11, which is going to put me on Marvin Gardens. Okay, and Marvin Gardens we can buy for $280. So to buy something means we're going to we're using cash here. So how would we reduce cash? Well, we're going to reduce cash by crediting it. So we're going to credit cash for $280, and we are going to increase. Our property account, which is an asset account, we increase an asset account by debiting. So we're going to debit it for $280. Now you can individually label these transactions. So I could put an A or a B or a C or 1, 2, 3 or however to number those. And that would help me if I get messed up. I can use those numbers to go back there and see how, see where I messed up. Because again, all my debits always have to equal all my credits. Uh, the computer just brought us way out of jail, and it is now our turn, and we will roll, and we have no 
11. Okay, so 11 puts us on go. Okay, and so go, what happens when you hit go? Well, you're able to collect $200. So we, what happens when we do that? Well, we increase cash by $200. So we increase an asset account by debiting it. So we're going to debit cash for 200 And what type of account would we use to, that we're going to credit? Well, credit, we're going to use what's called a revenue account. So we're going to add here an account called salary uh, revenue. Okay, and we do a T account. We increase the revenue account by crediting it. So we're going to credit revenue by $200. So our debits of $200 increasing cash, increasing our asset account, is going to equal our credits with increasing revenue by $200. Just a quick reminder, what statements do these go on? Well, we know assets go on the balance sheet. So everything that's an asset up here, I've got cash, property, buildings, those are going to go on the balance sheet. My common stock or my equity account also goes on the balance sheet. Okay, but it's going to be an offset of our assets. If we had liabilities, those would also be credits on the balance sheet. For our other two accounts, salary revenue and rent expense, we actually have what's called the income statement. Okay, income statement covers all the changes, revenues and expenses over a period of time. So we have an increase. We have revenues of $200 as a credit. We have expenses of $20 that are debits. And the, so what we would do, we would keep going on here, normally in class, and add, keep adding transactions to this. But this is the basics of what we're trying to do with that. At the end of the period, once we get all of our transactions for, for the time period recovery, we're just going to add up all of our different accounts. So we would add a property being 280. So we have a, our total in our account for property would be 280. And for cash, we're going to have 1400 I believe. We have $1,400 debit cash, so our cash is positive. Our common stock stayed the same. Our rent expense were $20, and our salary revenues were $200. We would be able then to build our income statement and our balance sheet from this information here. And that is the basics of how we do transactions using debits and credits.